We have known for some time that the Earth's magnetic field is not fixed. It wanders and will occasionally reverse completely. At the moment the Earth's magnetic field is undergoing one of these rapid changes where both the North and the South Pole are wandering at an accelerated rate, possibly signalling a coming reversal. For the first time ever NASA have confirmed that this is also happening on Jupiter. We now know that all the planets, with the exception of Venus and possibly Pluto, have magnetic fields. We still don't really understand how these are generated. The mainstream has different explanations for different planets. For example, in the case of Mercury and Earth it is believed that these are generated by a molten metal core. Now, in Venus's case, they believe it doesn't actually have a magnetic field, but still magically it's able to repel the solar wind without having a magnetic field. Mars is not believed to have a molten core, so its mechanism is different and it shows very strong uh, surface magnetic fields. So something in the crust is producing very strong surface fields, which are actually stronger than on Earth, but it doesn't have anything that wraps around the total planet. Now in the case of Jupiter and Saturn, the magnetic fields are believed to be created in a similar way to Earth, but rather than being created in the core, they are created in the outer core, where it is believed that liquid metals and possibly liquid metallic hydrogen flow. Now Neptune and Uranus are a little different due to the tilt of the magnetic field compared to its axis of rotation. And here the scientists think that the magnetic fields might be created by the flow of electric current in the salty oceans. Up until now, we have not really been monitoring the other planets for long enough to determine whether or not there are changes in the magnetic fields of these other planets. And for the first time, NASA have actually compared data from Pioneer 10, Voyager 1 and the Juno mission to actually determine that over that time period, there have been some changes to the magnetic field on Jupiter. So although these changes are not particularly huge, they believe that there is an area called the Great Blue Spot, which is possibly responsible for causing this variation. And they speculate that this Great Blue Spot could be caused by strong storms around this point, which would extend down deep into the surface of Jupiter and affect and influence the, the, the flow of some of these um, metals, causing a change in the magnetic field. So how do we view this from an electric universe point of view? We also know that the Earth is connected to the Sun via the solar wind, and this drives the current flow in the upper ionosphere. We also know that this will drive currents into the crust of the planet either through induction or directly. The rotation of the planet will also create a driving EMF effect and the movements of these currents will create the magnetic fields. So it is therefore highly likely to suggest that if the Earth's magnetic field may be due to these effects and equally all the planets are connected in a very similar way, we would expect to find magnetic fields on all of the other planets. Now we know that the Sun creates a current sheath which is not flat and this means that the planets will intersect this current sheath as uh, they rotate around the Sun. This is likely to change the interaction of the planets with its surroundings, possibly adding or modulating the effect in this complex system. On top of this we also know that the Milky Way creates its own current sheath which the solar system will pass through. This too is likely to cause changes in the solar system's electrical system, but on a much larger time scale. So am I surprised that we have discovered this? No, not at all. From an electric universe point of view, this is what we would expect to see without requiring different mechanisms on each planet. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.